Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. Sarojit Paramanic and We Are Many 73, aka Michael, both asked, Why is the speed, speed of light the universal, the universal speed, limit? speed limit? That's a good question. Let's answer it. First of all, light isn't the only thing that goes that fast. Anything without mass will go that fast. It just so happens that the making of this video, light is the only thing we've observed to be massless. There are some theoretical particles without mass, and we're pretty sure most of them are there because the models work great, but we've never actually seen them. Secondly, in my E equals MC squared video, I mentioned the speed of light really isn't all that special. But you said it's the same for everything everywhere at any time. Yeah, but it's not the only thing like that. The point is, it's just a number, about 300 million meters per second. But that's only when you use standard units meters for space, and seconds for time. In the U.S., you might say 186,000 miles per second, or 670 million miles per hour. Or in Canada, you might say 1.1 billion kilometers per hour. Units are kind of arbitrary. I mean, you could just as easily measure both space and time in meters. And the speed of light would be one. In fact, that's what most physicists working with this stuff actually do. They treat it like it's just a conversion factor between the units we've chosen for space and the units we've chosen for time. Weird, huh? Anyway, let's take a look at what would actually happen if someone were to accelerate toward the speed of light. And how exactly do you expect to do that? With my acceleromatic, obviously. Now I know I put this thing in here somewhere. Aha! Here it is. We'll turn this on. Wow. Put it right in here. And let's not forget the relativity compensator on the camera. And we're off! As I start to speed up, not much happens. It just looks like I'm going fast. The most I'll notice is an apparent force of gravity toward the back of my bubble. But my acceleromatic keeps that from getting too strong. Things don't get interesting until I get to about 10% the speed of light. I won't notice anything, but everyone else will see several things. One, time will pass slower for me. Two, I'll compress along the direction that I'm moving. And three, I'll be more attracted to the Earth because my mass will appear larger. The larger mass also increases my inertia, meaning it's getting harder and harder to accelerate me. The faster I go, the more quickly my acceleromatic battery is drained, until it finally runs out of power. Ugh. So yeah. As you get closer and closer to the speed of light, the energy needed to make you go faster is higher and higher. You need an infinite amount of energy just to get to the speed of light. And as far as we know, nothing in this universe is infinite. So you couldn't even get to the speed of light, let alone pass it. It's just not physically possible. Something like light doesn't have to worry about this problem. No mass means no inertia. So not only can it go that fast, it has to go that fast. So what would you do if you got your hands on my acceleromatic? Please share in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.